Undang-undang sensor film tengah menjadi sorotan hangat di Malaysia. Lena Henry dituntut karena mempertontonkan sebuah film dokumenter yang berisi kejahatan HAM sebelum perang sipil di Sri Lanka berakhir. Sufian Sukur melaporkan dari Malaysia. Now, a Malaysian human rights activist has been charged with breaking the country's censorship rules after she organized a public showing of a Channel 4 News documentary about the atrocities committed by the Sri Lankan government against Tamil civilians in 2009. Lena Hendry, who is 28, was arrested after 40 police and censorship officers raided the screening of No Fire Zone, the killing fields of Sri Lanka. She could face three years in prison or a £6,000 fine. All of a sudden, bullets were coming, like firing right into the people. Menurut Lena, pemutaran film dilakukan untuk meningkatkan kesadaran publik terhadap situasi yang terjadi di Sri Lanka, dan ia berkeras film itu tidak bias. The issue on Sri Lanka is not very well known in Malaysia and those who have interest in the issue is the only one who knows what happened. So this film is basically creating awareness and it's not a film that is prejudiced towards the government because it also showed the wrongdoings of the LTTE. It was a very balanced film between both the government and LTTE and of the suffering of the people that happened. Tapi pemerintah tidak senang atas pelanggaran yang dilakukan, yakni menayangkan film yang belum lulus sensor. Lina Henry has been charged under Section 6, uh, the Film Censorship Act, which says that if you are distributing, showing a film, publishing a film without a permit of the Board of Censors, then you are committing an offence. So in this case, uh, she didn't have a permit to show the film. Pengacara Lena Henry mengatakan hukuman ini tidak praktis menjerat kliennya. Mereka mempertanyakan hukuman tersebut. So we have challenged it as being unconstitutional, uh, as being too wide and too arbitrary. That every film, even a cartoon, even your wedding photos, um, your um, picnic, uh, if you want to show it in public, you need to get a board of censors uh, approval. We say that's uh, unreasonable, and in this case, we think it's been used uh, politically to silence uh, information from being disseminated. Uh, about the issue. Nur Hayati Kaprawi, seorang sutradara menilai undang-undang ini bertentangan dengan kebebasan menyuarakan pendapat. The public does not have the opportunity to view it themselves in the first place. So that is the problem. Naturally, some audience they agree with it and some don't or some may have some criticism which is totally fine. But that kind of engagement, that kind of exchange of opinion and the ability to accept other people's opinion, actually that is what we need to uphold. Undang-undang itu biasanya dikenakan pada para pembajak film dan sangat jarang dikenakan pada pemutaran film. Lena yakin kasus itu akan meninggalkan kesan dan ketakutan tersendiri terhadap para pembuat film, distributor dan penonton menjadi takut. It kind of have successfully started a fear factor and people are now thinking twice even to screen a film in a small class of 20 people for their own education. What you're talking about is censorship in its most crude form. Uh, the requirement that films be submitted to a government board uh, to be screened against a, a number of criteria that only a government determines uh, clearly violates the principle of freedom of expression. Meski warga Malaysia dilarang untuk menonton film itu secara publik, tapi bagi mereka yang ingin menonton dapat mengaksesnya melalui internet dan suara-suara untuk meningkatkan kesadaran masyarakat atas isu yang terjadi di Sri Lanka telah terdengar. Awal bulan ini, PBB membentuk dan mengutus tim penyelidik kejahatan perang dan pelanggaran HAM di Sri Lanka. Laporan tersebut sekaligus menutup perjumpaan kita dalam Asia Calling kali ini. Terima kasih untuk perhatian Anda. Untuk ragam peristiwa lainnya, silakan kunjungi website kami di portal kbr.com slash asiacalling. Saya Aika Agustin, sampai jumpa pada program kami selanjutnya. Asia Calling, your window on Asia.